Welcome back everyone. So now it's the water signs um, horoscope for the month of December. Um, so just focus on your birth month. Um, if you do crisscross with any others, please do so. But for the main part of the reading, focus on your birth month. So just take a deep breath in and just focus on it. And we'll start with Cancerians. Okay, fellow Cancerians, we're up first. So let's see what is coming up for us. Now, when I was dishing out the cards, like two came, fell out and then three more fell. So we have five cards for us. So I have no idea what they are. <laughs> so we're going to see what comes up. So, ooh. So first we have the Two of Cups, Queen of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. death card and the four of wands there was just so much in this one like so much just jumped out okay let's see so at the start we see we're meeting someone but we're a bit on the our shell is still on like our shell is still up um we're, not, we're, we're done with time wasters we're like we want to be settled and have you know have the foundation of something like have this this financial stability kind of thing with this other significant other and it is a big change because we have the death card so it's a you're meant to meet them in a natural setting so like a staff party or at the coffee shop kind of thing we're meant to meet them naturally like through friends as well maybe and this is probably one going to be this is the one that stuck out to me the most is the four of wands this is a very um a very long lasting um relationship by the looks of it it's going to be but we're very queen of swords she's very stern she's strict you know she doesn't take any messers so she's like are you a worthy partner well prove it and he's this person he or she is has all the financial stability but it's up to us to change okay the, gar the goddess that's guiding us is uh, Arin Hood. Arin Hood? Arin Hood. I can never say that. But it's time. So all we need to do for this is maybe just give it time. Get time. Like Be patient. Get to know the person. Um, hold on a sec. I'm going to take this ring light off. That doesn't do any difference. <laughs> There's a ring light you can clip on. Um... So we need to get time and just, you know, be patient and get to know this person. And just, you know, not be so defensive and just open up a bit more. It's not like the lovers where it's like hot and heavy and it's just ho like a honeymoon. Holy, this is a honeymoon. It's not just the honeymoon phase. This is a long lasting union. Because it's like the two, like you can see, like they want to be together. Like for good, like they, you can tell, like. Um... But with the Queen of Swords, we're very, because us concerns, we're very like protective of ourselves, and the sh like you know, once the shells go up, it's hard to bring them down. But maybe we need a bit of time to get to know this person, and then we see like you know, oh, they actually are financially stable. Okay, this is actually going to change my life a lot, and it might end up this way. This isn't in December, like not saying you're going to meet them, and they propose to you at the week later. But if you are in a relationship. You're a bit um, unsure about your partner. And you know finance is fine, but there's just a big change coming. But it's the natural step of your relationship, which is probably marriage, which is the case. Um, from the Oracle deck with the Everyday Witch Oracle, we have ground and center. So we, got, we are grounding ourselves, centering ourselves for this big change coming in December. And that's great, you know, there's great, there's nothing wrong with um, change. And given that the death card is there, it's, it is a natural change, but we need just to mentally prepare ourselves for it. And, you know, just cope with the big change. Now, concerns are not good for change, but we are good at preparing for a big change if we know something's about to happen. Uh, your self-care for the month is a dream journal. So 
this month probably will be a bit more active i don't know i have to i don't know the astrology forecast but um like with the moon and the planets that are in retrograde and stuff but i uh, we concerns need to start writing a dream journal i have one myself i need to start writing in a bit more so maybe start picturing like who is the person if you haven't met them who's the person uh th- like when do you see what's your premonitions you see so that is i haven't i just think that is brilliant like you know the ten of pentacles is also about family because you know christmas is coming up it's all about family and you know financially you're all fine but you know there's a natural stage coming there's a natural um turn of events coming it's either a wedding or in someone in your family or yourself or a pregnancy so that's usually a pregnancy and given that it's like this this whole reading is sandwiched between a two of cups and a four of wands it's going to be amazing and full of love and nice things in uh december so cancerians that is your december reading i will do a closing of the year first month of uh january reading um at the end of december if i have a chance with all the you know uh christmas celebrations and stuff but uh let's carry on to uh scorpios okay scorpios you're up next uh let's see what your december reading is what was that something fell Ooh. um so let's carry on to your December reading. Do the tarot first and carry on with the other stuff. So we have the Princess of Cups, which is the Page of Cups. The Seven of Swords. Only three jumped out for you guys. And the Five of Wands. Hmm. You're a bit naive this month, Scorpios. I see you're very naive. You're very, like... You're not unsure. You're just very naive in how you see the world and see things going. There's no drama. It's fine. We're all going to make up. It's how it happens. I'm like, but what if it doesn't? There's always the chance of, like, one fight or argument um, goes too far. And we see that with the Seven of Swords here. You're also, like, looking at, like, but look what happened before. This is fine. Um clearly when you're not even seeing this five of wands here you're not seeing the this is only the surface you're seeing this is only the surface of the family conflicts you're seeing for december yeah you're very optimistic though you're very optimistic which is great you know so nothing wrong with being optimistic um your goddess that's guiding you is anya um she's adaptability so you are adapting this is great you know you're adapting to the situation you're adapting to this new this underbelly of your family like you know you didn't realize people were fighting there was drama for years because you're now at the age or you're at that part in your life where you realize oh my god i'm an adult i get to know all this stuff but if you're not like if you are an adult and you just it's probably some secrets that you never knew existed and you're like oh so that's what happened in the past oh so that's what i meant but you're also like dwelling a bit too much on the past and you're adapting from those from the past you know experiences which is great so december is all about you trying to uh, not be so naive and innocent with your family during christmas your oracle from the uh, everyday witch oracle is joy and delight so that's it's a good outcome because you probably speak your mind uh scorpios which is fine you know it's it's all good um you speak your mind and you clear the air going here look i'm uncomfortable i didn't know about all this but you're just like come on just have fun forget that it's christmas like just forget what happened forget what happened in march forget what happened in like 10 years ago it doesn't matter what that matters now is the future and you having fun so you're adapting your ability to be contagiously ha- like you know joyful and stuff which is nice um your self-care card for the month is build strength so this is not just like physical strength this is mentality strength emotional strength because you're only a princess of cups or a page of cups here you're still learning this new um side of strength that there's different types of strength and it's not just um the strength is to also just carry on and not like let it bug you take it on board um the other type of strength is learning to be emotionally ready 
for these family traumas or dramas and stuff like that or your friends fighting just small things like you are building up this amazing uh strength of experience you know um so scorpios that is your monthly um reading for december and then we'll carry on and do pisces and finally pisces you're the last of the water signs so let me move that over there um so let's carry on and see what is your december reading start with the tarot okay so you have the six of cups ten of wands and the world Christmas is all about December is all about and Christmas in general is all about being nostalgic and remembering like you know the innocent times going oh do you remember that feeling of waking up on Christmas morning going oh my god Santa has come do you know that kind of feeling you're probably being a bit nostalgic about that or maybe a friend has come back and a childhood friend has come back into the picture and maybe they're like oh I have nowhere to go for Christmas all my family are gone away to Australia and I've come back from the state and then you're like oh yeah come on over for dinner at my place and you reconnect maybe that's another that kind of scenario a friend joins you for christmas dinner um but i feel like you're just being more nostalgic towards the idea of christmas but the ten of wands is there in the middle smack bang in the middle which means you're an adult you now see all the things you have to do as an adult you're not as innocent as you once were like there's bills to pay there's you know would you work if you go to work let's go to college that kind of thing you know um and with the world card it's like this is a good way to end the year like it's like an ending of the year you know it's an ending a change of season this i want to see what this 10 of wands is about i just put it in this box here haven't I? let's see what is this 10 of wands saying okay so we have the ace of wands a new beginning again I just wanted to see what that was because it was kind of like yeah it didn't explain much um so i'll put that there so with that yeah it's all about going out there you're like you're getting it done but you're like you know what? i'm gonna get it done this whatever it is work this project whatever it is i'm gonna get it done before the year is out i'm gonna get it done and then i can have fun and carry on right so your goddess that's guiding you is athena so this is all about knowledge so do your research do the research of how to finish this in the right way don't half-ass it or just like well it's done don't half-ass it just do it as best you can and keep going at the pace you're going um and then if you feel like i feel like that 10 as ones there is also saying you're stuck in a rush kind of thing you're stuck in this job that's like oh it's tiring i'm the same every time i feel knackered i give it my all and then it's just over you know it's over again so we have the everyday witch oracle here and we have make a move so maybe in the new year because this world card is here maybe it's time to make a move of change like a new change a new beginning so maybe to have a new career thought you know but your self-care card is connect with the moon so maybe this month uh pisces you you are one of the water signs like myself that connect with the moon a lot so maybe when the phases come in and out like whatever phase comes in meditate have a bit of a meditation with the moon like just not at midnight but because it's getting darker here now in ireland but maybe just have those meditative thoughts of the moon or thank the moon and just or write the whole messages to the moon and just roll like that kind of thing small little things like that will help you get a clearer picture from the universe you know so i will leave that there pisces you're the last of the war signs i will carry on to the earth signs and i'll leave that there and i'll see you all next time bye